Suicide Squad was exciting to me because we're going to introduce more DC characters than any film has ever done. Forgot the rep. <laughs> the Suicide Squad aren't really heroes. Bloodsport is quite a um, grumpy guy. I'm not shaking the rat's hand. He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU. He just has barely enough humanity to say, uh, all right, I'll go fight. Whereas Peacemaker says, Looking like a bloodbath to start the day. He's like a douchey bro, but a patriot at the same time. He says, if it adds to peace, you need to kill people. I got a clean shot on the only one in the office. Holly is a catalyst of chaos. I wanted to see the Harley Quinn that I love from the comics and the animated shows kick ass in a way like she never had before. With James, it felt close to the source material. Nom, nom. I think King Shark wasn't my favorite character. It's just really stupid, but it's also really kind. New friends! <laughs> Polka Dot Man is a product of uh, experiment gone wrong. Red Catcher 2 controls and she can talk with rats. Oh, calm down with the rats! Mongal, she has super strength, super speed. <laughs> She's just like a super bitch. Captain Boomerang, she's like the first dude you want to have a drink with, but the last one you want to be left at the bar with. Savant, he's a distinctive looking chap. He's a very quiet, very powerful guy. So this is the famous Suicide Squad. Love him or hate him. Oh, so sorry. These are your brothers and sisters for the next few days. I lean more into the kinder elements of Flag. Blackguard. The original character has like a really long purple ponytail. There's nothing cooler than being in the Suicide Squad. <laughs> Yo, is this a dog? I'm gonna go with Afghan Hound. TDK is just a guy whose arms and legs come off. That's his only power. Formidable? No. Annoying? Oh. <laughs> yes. I love your accent. American women all love accents. If you imagine the most sexy man or woman or an animal, a goose, and then give this person or animal blonde hair and a very large toothpick, you would have Chaflin. Characters considered throwaways or worthless are very worthwhile and have incredible meaning and value. I'm a superhero! People will stick with us and pray for us to survive. I'm gonna get you out of your life. I'm going to get you out of here alone. What I didn't see coming was the emotional depth. And that is what the movie's about to me. The most brazen thing about the film is the special moments between characters. It's just suicide. Well, that's kind of our thing. I, know, I, know nothing so. I think these are characters that anyone can fall in love with and anyone can hate. I love the whole idea of the anti-heroes. I sort of like playing the badass. Cruel, decadent. I've been working all my life to play evil genius. I'm protecting this country. You don't know half of what I would do. Boom! There's so many great characters in DC, and being able to see different expressions of those characters, that's so fun to me. Hey Lisa here with more on DC and specifically Harley Quinn. Now it's hard to imagine anyone other than Margot Robbie playing Harley Quinn, but it actually happened and she wasn't even the studio's first choice. Emma Roberts was offered the role and even accepted, but a scheduling conflict with her show Screen Queens meant she was forced to drop out and as a result ended up being Robbie's for the taking. Now who would you prefer in the role? Let me know in the comments below.